Sid Roth is going through this interview and he says, well, now I've got to ask you something. He says, what has God told you about the last days? What, what, has he shared anything with you? And see, she says, yes. God told me there will not be another presidential election. She said, there will be disasters, there will be earthquakes, and the election will be canceled, and our current president will stay in office. Well, that the goal of prepping is not to make it to the rapture. Some people are so intent on making it to the rapture, they can totally miss the rapture. Some people have got the attitude, I'm going to make it at any cost. And let me tell you, what are you going to do if somebody comes begging for food at your house and you tell, are you going to tell them, you get off my property, I'm going to blow you away? Well, if that's your attitude, you've missed the point. And, and like I say, there will be people that are preparing for the end times that could be like the foolish virgins and Jesus would say, I don't even know you because you don't know me. Jesus is the good shepherd. Jesus gave his life for the sheep. And we need to be careful that our attitude is right. And that's why I say, I've got enough food for my family, but I don't have enough to reach out for the lost. And, and it, this is a war that I see happening before the rapture. And unfortunately, I believe that Mystery Babylon is America. But it doesn't matter if it happens before the rapture because as long as we're doing what God wants us to do, he's going to take care of us. And, and, and when the day comes that my job is over, I don't care if I die. Okay? You know, uh, some people say, I don't want to miss the rapture. Well, I got some good news for you. The dead in Christ will rise first. Okay, so, so there's, you're not going to miss anything. But, uh, but I believe that as we are approaching these times, when the day comes that the economies of the world collapse and life as we know it falls apart, infrastructure collapses, food infrastructure collapses, Whatever event happens first, I believe as 9-11 filled the churches, people were looking for answers for two weeks. I believe events are coming that when the churches fill up from what's coming, they're not going to empty in two weeks. But we've got to have an answer. And if these people are hungry, we need to have something to feed them. And then they'll listen. Listen. 